is happening guys it's Raul TV team R for UL your favorite YouTube mechanic and we're back again and what we're doing this time round is I think I've done this before on a Passat so this is for the Skoda lovers out there the Skoda lovers out there the Skoda owners this is for you guys uh, 2012 Skoda Octavia 1.6 D uh, diesel TDI uh, I'm gonna go ahead and replace the slave cylinder uh, I can see it le leaking so we're gonna go ahead and replace that if it doesn't do it then we're going to go ahead and replace the master cylinder. But first things first, let's change the slave cylinder. Let's go. Right, just to clear it up, it's the clutch slave cylinder, not the brake sl slave cylinder or anything like that, or the master cylinder. The clutch slave cylinder, that's what we're replacing. So the first thing we're going to do is, it had a little pipe here, this pipe here, which I've just taken off from there. Right, uh, take that Jubilee clip off, take that plug off, so that moves out of the way. And then just pull the air filter up, box up, and that's it, that air filter box, totally out of the way. There we have it. The thing is, you can attempt it there, okay, but um, I would recommend you don't, okay, because it's a, it is a tight squeeze and everything. So what we do is, we're going to go ahead and take the battery off, the battery tray off, make our life that much easier okay to take the battery off not rocket science we've got a ratchet 10 milli socket take that one off take that off leads come straight off another one here that comes straight off and then we've got a 13 milli down there on that bracket take that one off whole battery comes out of the way and then we'll take the tray off right next thing for us we're gonna go ahead and take that 10 milli bolt off this 10 milli bolt off and this 10 milli bolt off all you need is a socket ratchet and extension take them three off this tray will move out of the way and then we can dive in take the slave cylinder off Right, the next thing we're going to do is, I mean, you don't have to do this if you don't want to, but I'm going to take that little clip off, take that off, move that out of the way, it just comes straight off, and that way, that is pretty much out of the way, uh, we can move it about. We're going to take this bracket off, 13 milli bolt here, and another 13 milli down there, okay, take them two off, then you'll have to get a spanner onto that one, socket onto that one, let's take that bracket off and then makes our life even easier. All right, now that bracket is out of the way. I mean, you don't need to take it off totally. I've cracked the bottom bolt. Okay, as you can see, it's loose. And I took the top one off, so it's out of the way, moved it out of the way. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and take the two bolts off, 13 milli bolts, this one and this one. Take them two off with a spanner. You can get a spanner on that one. You can get a spanner on that one no problem whatsoever let's take them two off I mean if you can get a socket on there small socket 13 milli socket then happy days if not spanner 13 milli spanner just take them off and uh, we'll take the cylinder off all right once you've took them two bolts off once you've taken them off okay uh, it's dead easy, it will come straight out. I mean, you'll figure it out when you get to it, not rocket science. You should get the new one uh, ready, okay? Because you don't want to take this pipe off and then have all the fluid uh, you know, coming out. Uh, it might damage the master cylinder. As it is, you know, it's still slave cylinder's dead. You know, if we can salvage the master cylinder, happy days. So what we need to do now is take that little clip off. It won't come off all the way. If you can take it off all the way, I mean, I wouldn't recommend you do. Just flick it off. You'll see it's got a stopper there. Let me try demonstrating. Right, so we've got a little flat screwdriver. Just put it there and you'll see it. If I can just get it underneath there, if you focus a little bit as well, and just lift it up. Right, there we go, it's come to a stopper there. And all you do is hold the slit cylinder with one hand and take the pipe off with the other hand. Let's see if I can just pull it off. I can't do it. I need to get both hands on it and just take that pipe off and uh, quickly just replace it with the new one. All right, no time to waste, I'll just show you guys. I've took the slave cylinder off. The seal is still there. 
if it if the seal comes off with the cylinder make sure you put the seal on okay can you see that little rubber seal focus there at the end of the pipe the rubber seal we need to put that on right there's the new one let's bang it on let's finish the job off right the cylinder is back in there i haven't got the bolts on yet i'm going to bang the bolts on you have to push it you'll have a bit of resistance push it get the bolts back on everything else in reverse order but we're not going to put the air filter box back on okay we're going to bleed it then put the air filter box back on because there's the nipple i mean if you put the air filter box back on then it's a little struggle to get to the bleed nipple so we're going to put the cylinder back on put all these brackets back on put the linkage cable back on put the battery tray back on put the ba battery back on and then we'll put the air filter box on last let's do it reverse order let's finish it off Right, there we have it. I haven't put the air filter box back on. Okay, remember to put the wiring plug back on. I put the battery on, battery tray on, uh, slave cylinders back on, everything else is back on, all the linkages, everything. What I'm gonna do now is there's the bleed nipple. 11 mil spanner on there or a socket or whatever you've got, you know, just crack that off. Get, uh, fill it up with fluid, eight, uh, the uh, brake fluid, dot four. Make sure you fill it up all the way. Get somebody in the car, get them to pump it. And then obviously air will come out through this way. Then you lock it back up, re-top it up, should be done. If you haven't got an assistant or anybody, what you do is a Gunson, Gunson Easy Bleed. Buy one of them, check that up on eBay or Amazon or something like that. Gunson Easy Bleed, basically it's a pressure bleeder. You bang it on there and then put it onto the tire and it should bleed it for you. Um, but well, I'm gonna get my brother to get in the car, or I'm gonna get in the car, and I'm gonna bleed, bleed this thing. Right, guys, that's it. There we have it, all done and dusted. I've got it bled as well. I got my brother to give me a hand with that one. Obviously, I had to sit in the car and bleed it. Uh, you have to bleed it with your hand, okay? <laughs> because the slave cylinder was totally gone, okay? Um, it was stuck to the floor, the, the the pedal, the clutch pedal. So I had to get inside it with my hand, pump it with my hand, basically, okay? Uh, because every time I press it, the uh, pedal down with my foot, it gets stuck to the ground. So with my hand, in and out a few times, uh, it's bled through, happy days, job done. I'm just going to put the, uh, the air filter box back on and that's it, finish. Anyway guys, hope this video helps you guys out. If it didn't help you guys out, I'm sorry. Peace and blessings. Um, all I want to say is like, share and subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell button for me. Leave a comment in the comment section. Raul TV, we'll see you guys soon.